Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Paper News 24-7, brought to you today by Fourth Hawk Consulting Business Efficiency Specialists. Your local news in an efficient three minutes or less starts right now. I'm Stu Clampett with Montgomery County's top headlines. A fire broke out at Random House in Crawfordsville on Wednesday afternoon. Dispatch received a call about the fire at 1.32 p.m., according to Paul Miller of the Crawfordsville Fire Department. The fire started in the Baylor Room. Employees attempted to battle the fire with a fire extinguisher, but it was not enough. They eventually called 911. At 2.30 p.m. on Wednesday, the fire was under control and there had been no injuries reported. In other news today, Autumn Pearson, 17, is learning how to cope with her spina bifida through a combination of growing up and learning that she controls her life, not her disability. The North Montgomery High School senior is a Riley kid who has had around 50 surgeries in her short lifetime. Now she has good health and is going into her fourth session at Camp Riley with high expectations of learning and growing more. You can read her story on page A1 of today's paper of Montgomery County. That's your local news for the day. We'll be back with your forecast right after this word from Mike Razor Ford. The future of tough is here today, the 2015 Ford F-150. I'm Jamie Martin with five great reasons to come see the new F-150. Number one, the F-150 is built with a high stream military grade aluminum alloy body and high strength steel frame for less weight and greater strength. Number two, with our inventory of tough new Ford F-150s, you'll have four different engines to choose from to meet your demands. Three, the tough new F-150 can tow more than any other light duty truck. Plus, you'll have an eight inch productivity screen to provide a screen dedicated to towing information. Four, it's the smarter F-150 with over 100 new patents that make the F-150 smarter than ever. And five, the F-150 even includes available LED lighting everywhere you need it. It even has an LED box light that allows you to work at night. It all adds up to tough. Come see the tough new 2015 Ford F-150 at Mike Racer Ford, Sagamore Parkway and State Road 38 East in Lafayette. The forecast for today calls for a chance of showers and thunderstorms mainly after 5 p.m. It will be mostly cloudy today with a high near 78. And tonight there is also a chance of rain with mostly cloudy skies and low around 60. That chance of rain continues on Friday. It's a lower chance. It will be mostly sunny throughout part of the day with a high near 79 and an overnight low around 59. But the good news is all weekend long, especially Independence Day, it looks mostly sunny with a high near 81 and a 4th of July overnight low around 63. That's your local news and your local weather. Sports with Nick Wilson is up next. Hey there, sports fans. I'm Nick Wilson, and here's what you need to know today in Montgomery County Sports. Byron Cox, post 72, was looking to take the series from Cicero post 341 Tuesday evening at North Montgomery High School. However, for the second game in a row, they couldn't figure out Cicero ace Kyle Hawkins, falling to their guests by a score of 15 to 5 in seven innings. Post 72 drops to 10 and 7 on the season and will be back in action over the 4th of July holiday in Danville, Illinois. The College Swimming Coaches Association of America has selected a record 810 swimmers to its Scholar All-American team. Wabash College was honored by the committee as a Scholar All-American team for the team's work in the classroom during the 2015 spring semester. Wabash was among 99 NCAA Division III men's teams to receive the Scholar All-American Team Award, producing a team grade point average of 3.27. And that was your three minutes of local news. For more information on these and other stories, click on our e-edition or pick up a print copy of the paper of Montgomery County. For Paper News 24-7, I'm Nick Wilson.